Hi, it's an out of control spiral of inflation, recession, distrust of government, politicians, political parties, increasing state authoritarianism, a failing in every aspect, capitalism. Something representing a unique opportunity to reconstruct a viable revolutionary anti-authority anarchist movement to answer these challenges with real alternatives. But from a closer examination of Sunday's puerile ant antics, see yesterday's video cast, the opposite seems to be the case. Some things I didn't mention was that the morons attired in black block gear were guarding the statue of Emmeline Pankhurst against some imagined outrage by the turfs. This kindergarten gesture is best left to the likes of Tommy Robinson and his fantasy fry corps. It reeks of fetishism. Viewing some of the footage, it even looks as though the police were siding with the ninjas. Very bad image-wise, from an anarcho perspective. The anarcho-syndicalist flag being waved belonged to the self-proclaimed Anarchist Federation, which seems to have been captured by pronoun-obsessed middle-class activists who will abandon trans people when the pressure gets too much, when the culture wars rebound completely in favour of the right would drift. Within our current we have ceased to be anything that resembles a movement here in the UK. These elements are in the ascendance. It's time to call a halt to this circus. There's too many clowns running the show, starting with the monsters in number 10. We need to get back to class politics, insurgent autonomous street movement, subversion, destruction of the establishment, its system that has nothing to offer but war, misery, financial meltdown, eco disasters, meaningless spectacles. As for the posers of last Sunday, the first sign of trouble, they will disappear, maybe to re-emerge in the Tory Labour landscape, or maybe embrace Stalino Trotskyism, or fascism, conspiracy theories, or some other irrationality. Bye.